And thanks to Husky Athletics for once again putting us up for this wonderful event. Now, when I was first asked to do this speech for the fifth years, I was a little reluctant to say yes. But once I committed, I sat down and I really started to think about my time here. And a lot of good memories came back to me. I remember that first day walking into res and being put on a floor with most of the other athletes. I remember how most of us athletes weren't allowed back the year after that. <laughs> I remember Taylor Everendon and I trying to throw little Ryan Contenti on top of the Moosehead and Sask Hall. And actually, now that I say that, that's probably why we weren't allowed back. I remember going to watch the women's basketball team win Can West with Joel Suter and Josh Hushey. We were wearing raincoats and carrying umbrellas because Jill Humbert was making it rain. <laughs> I remember last year when we hosted playoffs for the first time in years and we had most of almost everyone from every team come out and support us. And a special shout out to the hockey boys for coming out. They had no idea what was going on I don't think they even knew what volleyball was at the time, but they were committed to following Brandon back and forth and making their lives pretty hard. Thanks, boys. <clears throat> There's many other times we've had together that I won't elaborate on too much up here, such as how khaki pants have become mandatory attire when you go out with the soccer boys. Now, Throughout my athletic career, I've been on many different teams. I've been on school teams, club teams, provincial teams, and I've even managed to wear the Maple Leaf for a time or two overseas. I've experienced and seen the world playing a game that I love. I've had incredible times and made incredible friendships and connections on those other teams, but none have been like the ones I made here. And it's then that I sat back and thought for a while. The fact that the people I've met here are not like anyone else. I've realized the friendships I've made here are ones that are going to last me for a lifetime. And then something dawned on me, that this group, this Husky Athletics group, past and present throughout my time, has become family. Not a family shared through blood, but one made through friendships, through blood and sweat lost on the court, through the big wins and the heartbreaking losses. Family that spans throughout many teams, not just my own family I've shared many ups and downs with, and one that's seen me at my best and at my worst. And a family that was there for me last year when I lost my mom. And I want to thank you all for that. I want to thank Husky Athletics for the support they showed. I want to thank everyone from other teams for the words and wisdom shared that helped me during that time. To a few certain individuals who went above and beyond to be there for me. Chico for taking that BAMP trip. I still don't know how we made it back alive from that, man. To Taylor and Ryan for always being there whenever I need you. To Busty and Brian for being two of the best friends a guy could have in his corner during a time like that. Thank you to my coaches and my team for their understanding and letting me leave in the middle of our season to take my time and for welcoming me back with open arms when I returned. It's hard to realize how much being a Husky athlete, the impact it has on you until your time here is done. It's easy to take it for granted but well, trust me when I say it goes fast, and it's a time like no other. Now, during this speech, I was also asked to leave some advice for the younger athletes at some point. So I'll share a few things I've learned throughout my time here. Embrace the people. Embrace the friends that become family. Embrace the ones that are maybe only around for a year or two. Embrace the coaches, the teachers, the trainers. They all play a part. Embrace the wins and the losses and learn to live from them. Don't stress too much. It's easier said than done, but take that invite for the random Tuesday night. Maybe it'll turn into a night you'll never forget. <laughs> and probably most importantly, take that chance you're afraid to take. Take the chance that maybe right now in your life you're too afraid to do it. Whether it's with school, with sports, with life, or even in love, take that chance. Who knows what's going to happen, but I guarantee you the experience you gain will be better than sitting back and wondering what if. And now I just want to end this by once again thanking all of you for making my time here memorable and something I'll never forget. Thanks for the memories, everyone.
It's been quite a ride.